All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're looking over a red over lunar signal. This is a restricted signal. This means the train that I'm facing northbound. I got Atlanta to my back and Greenwood to my front. So any train, it just went to approach, y'all. All right. So now we got an approach signal. So that means that train got a block away. He was in this block on the other side of the signal, and they gave him a restricted signal, and now he's gotten two blocks away, so they give him a approach signal now. So I don't know why they're doing restricted signals. They could give him, well, he's allowing him to come too early, I guess. But anyway, there's no light around here. I can't film a train, but that means I had one pass by ahead of me, and I missed it because I was out of town, and I got one coming up behind me. But I'm going to walk down the track and find a street light or something to light it up so I can film it and show you what it is. All right, this signal ought to go to a clear here in a little bit when that train moves further down. I might take another picture of it. Although I do have a clear signal I took earlier for the first train that came through. And I waited for it, waited for it, waited for it. Then I had to go someplace. And when I was gone, I came back and the train's already been through. All right, thank y'all. All right, I walked up closer to the street light and I can still see the signal. So when the train comes, I'll get some action, I hope. All right, thank y'all. All right, the approach signal's done moved up to a clear signal. I'm trying to get where to focus in, but I don't know how to focus the cell phone. We'll get it somehow. Sometimes it clicks up and works right. But anyway, I'm still sitting there waiting on a northbound train coming out of Atlanta. I don't know who it's going to be, but they had them set up with a restricted signal. And then they went to approach, and now we're at a clear. All right, thank y'all. All right, there's a better view of the clear signal. That's the stop sign on stop signal on the side. I hear a horn blowing behind me, so I need to move on down to the light, y'all. All right, thank y'all. All right, y'all, I'm out here where I got better light. I hear him blowing a horn out by Prismian now. I'm at the north end southbound signal, which is red because we got a northbounder coming at us that has a clear signal on the main line now. He's got a train ahead of him, but he's at least three blocks ahead because he's showing clear on the signal. It started out as restricted. That was allowing him to go into an occupied block behind another train. Then it went to approach, which means that train's one block away, giving the next signal a red. And then when he got two blocks away, that cleared that red up to a clear, and that allowed this one to go to clear, y'all. Or allowed that red to go to a yellow. And that cleared this up, so it's uh, a yellow, and then the next one behind it will be green. All right, he's still a little ways away. I'm going to pause it until he gets some lights or so going on. All right, thank y'all. All right, he's blowing at Red Street. Y'all be able to hear him. Those lights on Sunday's down by the depot. That's the street lamp, and it's shining on the grass. So it shouldn't be too long. He'll be coming around the corner up there. I don't know if I'll be able to see him where the tree's going to be in my way. But he ought to be past those lights there somewhere if we do see anything. He's headed downhill. He'll be in dynamic brakes. When he gets to the depot, he'll be on the hill for about two miles. So it's probably an old train on this side of the hill time he gets to the depot. And we're still holding it back because track speed around here is 45 miles an hour because all the twists and the turns and stuff and the ups and the downhills. I used to run faster through here, but I think they 
want to reduce maintenance, save money on maintenance, and they just run slow freighters through here. We don't have passenger trains like they did back in the early days. Had a silver comet come through here from New Orleans that went to New York and had a car that was go all the way to Boston. Took five railroads to get it through here. All right, here it comes around the corner, y'all. When it gets closer, I'll be stepping back away from the tracks, y'all. I got a moment to squeeze this down. Rolling downhill on the main line, y'all. Coming up on a clear signal, main line to main line. Thank you guys. Oh, and this is one. Oh, you're all right. That two nine arms got those lasers on there. I seen that the other day. I was wondering what that was. I'm glad I got a good view of it, a good picture of it. Look at that! It came all the way to Columbia on the coal train. Sound like it's slowing down. I don't know. But that was cool. I wonder if that has anything to do with that train that all, I mean, the coal train sat here last night and I heard them switching cars out there. But those would have been grainers. These were auto racks on this train. So that he's got to go to Columbia so he could just drop them off there and they'll pick them up there, I guess. All right. Thank y'all. Hope you enjoyed this. God bless y'all.